Hello. Thursday, the 20th, 6 p.m. Pacific, releasing the newest version of the Rain City Skills Looney. Now I thought I'd do a little video getting you caught up to date on all of the releases this year, but primarily the new version of the Looney, what we're calling the American Edition. So this guy started life tiny. This was the first prototype. It was ridiculous. Uh, frame of reference. There's the duck. Super tiny. It's the size of, do I have an, any American currency? That would be lovely. Great for the example, but instead I'll just pull out a Canadian, well here we go. Canadian quarter, same size as an American quarter. Pretty straightforward. It is just a tiny bit bigger. Um, the original plan with this yo-yo was to make it the diameter of a Canadian dollar coin, the loony. First version ended up just within that, which was the idea. But it plays terrible. Like, well, it plays like a mighty flea. It's about the same size. Um, which is fun for a challenge, but it's just awkward to play with. So we ended up making it a little bit wider. So now the loony doesn't quite match up. Here, maybe that's a bit better reference. Get the camera angle right. It's about that much taller. This was a pretty solid throw. Really enjoyed this, which clearly a lot of people did because that's why we made another one. Um, took this to PNWR. I made this as just a one-off throwaway. We'll do a run of these. It's going to be fun and then we'll move on. Um, Andre, yo yo expert, wanted some for the store, so I thought, okay, well, gonna have to mark the price up a bit uh, for retail because I have costs, I need to make a bit of money for my time, and retail store needs to almost double the cost. So, thought we'd change it up, make it a little bigger so it stood out, add a few extras to the box so you can compare. I'm saying so a lot, I really need to get out of that habit. So, this one's a bit bigger. Well, a bit wider, 30% wider to be exact. The joke there, here, I'll tell that in a second, there is the whole pile of them, small, medium, large. So the joke is that this is 30% wider than this because the exchange rate is around, floats around 30%. Basically, you need a dollar thirty Canadian to buy an American dollar, so this is the American edition, so you can buy your American dollar with your loony. That was the thinking. Um, but it also gives you a bit of width moves a bit of your weight from center. It's a little more stable than the original version, so a bit longer of a spin, but a heck of a lot easier to hit a slack with, he says, as he misses his slack trick. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Terrible at yo-yoing. I don't know why I get away with selling them, but in any event, oh, and terrible bind too. So that was the reasoning behind the loony. The reason, the, the main differences are that it's a little bit wider. So that's fun. They cut the uh, guts on it. It's a standard 18 millimeter pad, 19 millimeter. I always get that wrong. We have a center track size A bearing. Um, yeah, that's what you need to know. Comes with some Rain City Scales thin string, which is if I remember correctly, one or two threads thinner than your standard bulk kitty string. <clears throat> you can get away with standard thin strings in these, no problem. Um, this is mostly just gives you a little bit more room for those extra wraps. So there you go, that's the new version of the Looney that drops Thursday. And just a quick review of the year. We started the year with the duck. That's not actually the one we started the year with. As I was saying, we started the year with the duck. That was the first prototype. A few changes, but yeah, duck, really good yo-yo. Then we moved on to the first version of the Looney, the retro rocket, the metal head, which was technically April's release, even though it released in May, but time. This one, this particular colorway, was an epic face palm. I don't know what happened in the Anno shop. I asked anodizers, they can't figure out what happened, but the blue on it is actually raised. So they somehow managed to, to, to permanently deposit way more thickness 
than one could expect. It's not like huge, but you can feel when the color changes. So I was hoping we could salvage them and, and do something, but not, there's no fixing this. So what I'm doing is I'm going to sell them as B grades exclusively to my mailing list. So if you're interested in this col cool color, which was actually supposed to be Thomas Gelto's signature color, um, you need to sign up for my mailing list before Thursday when I will be sending out an email with information on how to buy that. And then of course we had May's release, the SETI, which I enjoy the fact that that's, that's the comparison there. Giant. Um, this thing's ridiculous. It's a yo-yo that people will slowly buy, and I knew that was going to happen because you kind of have to play with one or hear from somebody to figure out how awesome they are, but check this out. Ah, there we go. It rings like a bell. You're probably not going to want to whack ears on things, but it's a yo-yo. So there you go. That is kind of the year to date. We're in June now, so the Looney is going to drop next week. July is going to be the A-Bearing Skater, so look towards the end of July. And then August, sneak peek, little sneak peek. Going to get some changes, but that is going to be the author. It's going to go with my book on running a boutique yo-yo brand that's going to be the first in a series of books on modern yo-yo that I'm working on. So, there's your updates. I'm going to flail my hands some more because apparently you do that when I'm talking to the camera. You enjoy your week and yeah, grab a loony on Thursday. Oh yeah, from Rain City Skills, yo-yo expert, yo-yo Sam, and I finally got some yo-yos into yo-yo store rewind. So we're all international and stuff now. So you can get them from all sorts of places. Looney, Friday.